Hello lovelies, this is Ariella from the Tree of Life Tarot and now I'm in Henry Cordero's Akashic Records and um, I'm going to look at the romance, his romance life um, Fortunately I don't know much about his um, current or possible or rumored uh, girlfriend so let's take a look and uh, this also looks like a, a strange reading so um, and I'll tell you a little bit more about it so I'll just lay down the cards and um, I'll look into them one by one so as you saw, uh, the, at the bottom is the Ten of uh, Cups, the Ten of Cups is Happy Family, Being Together, so uh, I'll do a separate spread about mm, what's the hold, will this, something has to be I think I know what's the hold. That's why the Ace of Pentacles came up. So the Ace of Pentacles is about money, making money, working. In this case, um, a hmm, uh, that's that's a, that's really. Um, I'll say it. I'll say what I'm what I'm getting with that. If he has a wife and children, that will keep him away from his mission in life. I think it's possible to negotiate to have both in a way, in a certain capacity. But he's um, his mission in life, and if his mission in life is to be an actor, then there is a an iconic um, role, more iconic than the ones that he had. Something. Anyway, uh, let's take a look at the the love spread. So is there a hope in finding love? I, I would say probably not. The Yerophant is a, usually a yes card. When reversed, it's a no card. Um, based on that, the, the hope for finding love. So it's, it's also possible that he's been looking for love in the, in the wrong places. Uh, by what do I mean by that? that if his usual place is his like work romance or uh, around the hobbies romance then that's the traditional way of let's say an actor finding a spouse finding a, a loved one for him it's I think it's a no um, because he's not looking in the right place it's like yeah he's not looking in the right place I don't know what the right place is but it has to be something unorthodox something that is not is not um, yeah it, it's it's not orthodox that's that's really what the um, the word for it is I don't know what that is, what that orthodox method is. I can I can I can do a reading on it. So definitely do a reading on that one, because it's um, it's a key card. Where can he find his love? Now, the new person. So the, the, um, a lot of people come to me say, oh, can I find a boyfriend? Can I find a girlfriend? And I, and as, uh, 
the day as um, impolite as it may seem, I always ask, do you want more of what you had before? Because what will the new girlfriend be like? Queen of Wands, manipulative, intrigant, selling him out, not trustworthy, um, uh, attracted to power. Yeah, attracted to power. So my guess is that um, we women have a lot of shapes and forms, but at the core, we are who we are, each one of us. So it could be um, it, it, w what you are aspiring for doesn't really... Um, I don't know, how, how can I say it? Um, let, let, let me uh, let me try to find a proper a proper um, illustration of what what that card is for him. Um, it's about the mindset. It's about the mindset. He needs to look for a mindset, not for uh, criteria like young, old, educated, not educated, poor, rich healthy, unhealthy, whatever it is, the criteria is misleading. He needs to look at the mindset, what's, what's behind those eyes, what's behind, what's truly the core of that, that woman. Uh, there is this like 36 questions that you can fall in love with anyone, I don't know what they were I don't remember how they were called but there was this you know um, a, prof uh, a professor who created them and swears by it and um, they're they good, good questions uh, let me put it this way um, to really look what's beneath the the, the superficial mm. um, so Whatever that relationship is, will it be secure? Will it be safe? Yes, it will feel like family. So that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Um, now, looking at those cards here. So marriage and commitment. I would say no and really the question here is does he have to marry does he really have to marry mm. well first of all if he goes for another woman it will be a, a queen of queen of one's woman An another woman who is attracted to power so we don't have it as a disease yet but hopefully within the next few decades there will be such a um, uh, the, the disorder or addiction addiction to power uh, or you know yeah hungry for power so for the woman, the woman who we are going to look at uh, with this, uh, how to find her in this unorthodox way, for that woman, well, first of all, she, she will not be, um, of the same financial status as him, uh, and if if they want to keep the love, keep things clean, I think for now, um, or not for now, mm, at least for a couple of years, marriage should be off the table. That really has to be off the table because, because, because. Now, and mm, that's that's an interesting thing. So we have for commitment and for marriage. Mm -hmm. 
interesting so uh, so justice is an outcome card justice can literally mean a marriage contract being married going to the city hall and getting married so mm, they're not being quick to um, wouldn't say give away his heart or protect his heart that's that's not it but not being quick to jump into the marriage bandwagon would be a good idea for him maybe a few years down the line from being in a relationship with that special woman um, it will be a good idea to to tie the knot really for him in order to make it last to, not to me no in order to declare that he has decided to um, to work on and participate in the relationship being a lasting one. So, the marriage for, for many people will have uh, their different different things, but um, in um, in a spiritual way, and especially here, tying the knot is really your commitment not your commitment to the other person but your commitment to your relationship with the other person and your commitment to working on making it last um i'll give um i'll give an example with uh, let's say your favorite uh, let's say t-shirt everyone has one item of clothing that is their favorite and even with the comory method they tell you what sparks joy you keep it even if it's like 20 years old or 30 years old and it's uh you know it has uh, all the the colors have faded if it sparks joy you keep it so that's what really marriage is is here about it that commitment um now what can be done what can he do to to make that uh, to make uh, to find that lasting love in his life i will keep that card for the next reading really i'll keep those two cards for the next reading and talk to you in a bit bye